Hi, my topic for chapter 21 is the In Indian Citizenship Act. And basically, um, during this time around World War One was happening, um, indigenous people like that lived on reservations were not doing the best and was pretty much suffering just like the rest of like other cultures, other races. And um, they had a, they had funds that were promised like funds and healthcare that were promised to Native Americans that lived on the reservation. And basically the government put these funds on hold and did not, um, did not deliver the rest of the funds because they were, the funds were sent to the war and the money was never returned back into the funds and it was just lost in the war. And this was not very good for Native Americans because they lost their healthcare and a lot of them could not afford healthcare at this time and as well as there was a huge rise in a bunch of diseases such as tuberculosis and um, just overall diseases that were very deadly and a lot of indigenous people could not afford to get treatment for and therefore just kind of caused a lot to just be like, well, shoot, we don't really have anything. And um, as well as um, like uh, residential schools were still going on and infecting very much like a lot of indigenous use because these indigenous schools, these, I mean, excuse me, residential schools were not, the last one closed in 1997. And basically these residential schools cause a lot of pain and um, generational trauma to um, indigenous youth. And a lot of these um, residential schools um, cut a lot of, Native American kids' hair made them forget their language and tried to um, basically just rem like their saying was um, remove the Indian, save the man. And that was their goal because they tried to convert them to Christianity or um, being Catholic. And but however, the Indian Citizenship Act was passed in 1924. And this allowed a lot of Native Americans, this allowed all Native Americans, excuse me, to be granted citizenship and given the right to vote. And although this act, the, the 14th Amendment allowed for um, all citizens to be able to vote, this did not include Native Americans. And this was the only time that, like, this is the time that they were uh, marked as citizens, even though they lived on land before. And... This was a huge milestone for Native Americans because now they were actually considered citizens in a country that did not include them a lot. And um, they still had a lot of problems going on, but the government decided, hey, maybe we should actually make them, um, you know, a citizen and consider them, their problems to be as equal as other people's problems. And this allowed a lot, like this is one stepping stone out of many that allowed them to be what they are, what we are today. And um, because this granted citizenship and a lot of, and no natives had citizenships at this point and were not considered American citizens and were not allowed the right to vote, but the act gave them the right to vote and to be considered um, citizens and allowed healthcare.